Hello, my beautiful little mugglets. Today, yes, we're playing. Today, we're playing more Arcanites. Again, really enjoying it. I am still playing Epic 7, though I'm taking that a bit casually as things are just slow at the moment. Anyway, we have recently reached level 20. Going to give some more thoughts on the game, sort of an account progression update as well. First, though, we got a couple packs we got to pick up. Once you hit, I think it's every five levels, uh, you can buy one of these enhancement packs. 900 a random for five primes skill summary you know it's always useful if i think just the 900 orundum is worth it uh so yeah definitely make sure to pick those up skill summary that's nice too 10 of them sweet and then you get a free one as well lmd man lmd is a huge bottleneck uh, from what I've experienced so far, I have a bit now, 65k, that's actually kind of a lot for me, but I totally slammed into a wall yesterday, I had zero and I was just spamming, um, the LMD stuff. So let's check out where I am at the game, finish the prologue episode one, where I believe nearing the end of, of episode two, uh, this is super hard, we've run out of practice plans, which I didn't think would ever happen, because I was like, hey, who practices? You only lose one sanity, but like after the first couple times, like, okay, yeah, I need to f really figure out what, what's going on here. It's mainly this damn boss. Like, I can survive mostly perfectly fine until this dude shows up, and then he just starts one-shotting everything. If you have like any operators on those four tiles, so the range tiles, so healers, casters, right, whatever, they're gonna get like one or two shotted. Maybe mine just aren't high enough level, but this says elite level one. Not all my guys are elite yet maybe half of them, but the ones that are elite are definitely not level 1, they're like level 20 to 30. So yeah, this is super hard. Uh, we can also go into enemy intelligence, look at him, Skull Shatterer. I think that's the first enemy I've ever seen with an S ranking anything. Um, all these guys are like B at most, you know, if you even see an A, that's pretty special. Like these guys are resistance, I'm not going to be able to use uh, magic on them. Uh, but this dude, SHP, A plus attack, he's super hard. SHP. He's not only a glass cannon, but he's also the opposite of glass. He's a tanky glass cannon. That doesn't make any sense. I'm sure we'll be able to do it eventually. We might actually just be lacking power, but I'm not too sure. Uh, speaking of which, so that was our adventure progress. We can take a look at my operators currently. So yeah, we got five elites. Uh, meteorite. I'm actually still not too sure about her. I like her and she's special in that she does AOE physical damage. There aren't many that do that as far as I'm aware, so I raised her, and I've been using her in places, but she's very slow attack speed. I think that's pretty usual for, for AoE attackers, though. My most recent elite is Silence here. Figured I would probably need at least one healer at elite and slightly raised. Uh, she's the one I'm, I'm actually focusing on raising right now. I'll probably get her to, let's say, 32 for now. That's, that's good. I'm trying to raise them more evenly than just focusing on one, which I kind of like to do, but in this game it is pretty important to level them all equally because they're all on the same team, they all are important. So for example, if you have a super over level tank, like say if I got my Sari at 85 or 80, whatever she goes to, uh, but I didn't focus on my healer, well, then my healer is useless because there's no way she can heal all that HP. And if I don't have strong damage dealers, then what is she tanking for? She might not die, but there will eventually be more than three enemies, and one's gonna go past and into the gate. My next goal really should be a magic user. I haven't really decided which one I want to raise though yet. I'm using Amiya and Lava the most, uh, magic wielder wise, but I don't really know about her to be honest. She sounds kind of weird, especially once you promote her. Uh, you can see here, once you get her to Elite 1, she gets a new skill, Spirit Burst. Like, it doesn't even sound that good to start with. Uh, 6 times, 33% attack, so total almost 200% attack, which is alright, but not when it needs 100 skill points. And then there is a passive on that skill where she herself is stunned for 10 seconds after the skill ends. So, that's pretty weird. And then she gets a tiny bit more range. To be fair, that that little square there is quite is quite nice though i mean there must be something i'm misunderstanding because why wouldn't everyone just keep attack speed plus 30 you know nothing bad happens to her then i mean it says 25 seconds there so if this fire six times with 33 percent attack is just like one part and she'll do that several times within that 25 seconds then okay might be actually pretty decent to try and clear out a really really strong guy real quick uh, and then the stun, you know, might be worth it, especially at the end where it's getting close. Uh, you could just activate it as a sort of panic button, 
might be nice, but I would have to promote her to see exactly how that works, and I'm not sure if I want to do that. And then there's Lava, which there's nothing like inherently wrong with, I guess, but 3 star? I know, I know, 3 stars can be good too, but I'm still a bit hesitant to raise 3 stars, especially since I've already raised 2 of them. Quick tip here for even the newer players than me, you'll pretty much get all your resources back from your first 2 3 stars. I think you can get them up to Elite, and uh, there'll be these missions that tells you to do that anyway. So like your first two three stars are pretty much free to free to raise. There are like special things in the campaign missions here. Obviously gone now since I've done it. I kind of want to raise Frostleaf to be honest. She sounds super interesting as well. She can slow. She only needs five skill points for this. Auto recovery. Movement speed minus 25% for 1.5 seconds. That doesn't sound bad, honestly. She is melee, but can also launch ranged attacks. It'll only deal 80% of her normal attack, but still. Uh, let me see what happens when uh, we promote. Her range goes up. She's kind of like a uh, budget silver fox. What was his name? I forgot. And the new skill she would get sounds pretty good as well. Attack speed. That seems to last 25 seconds. Uh, you have to activate it manually. 34% movement speed reduction and a 15% chance to freeze them. So I would assume a freeze is just like a stun, 1.5 seconds. Definitely not bad. Silver Ash. Okay, sorry. Going to change my waifu real quick. Hmm, I like her. Glasses waifu. Let's go ahead and do a summon real quick. I just do single ones as soon as I have 600 <laughs> stuff. Uh, I don't know. I don't think there is a benefit to doing 10 at once. Also, they do have a pity system for six stars, which is uh, cool. Better than not having one at all. Starting at 50 rolls without a six star, it'll go to 4% and goes up 2% for each failed attempt at getting a six star. So each summon goes up 2%. I have no idea how many summons I've done. I mean, I don't think it's been enough. I, I definitely haven't done 50 since my last six star, which was a duplicate, unfortunately. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eh. Damn it! Rope's nice. Uh, I was using her for the uh, second stage of Annihilation. <laughs> she can uh, drag people in like uh, holes. That was pretty funny. Only level 20, but at the moment she doesn't need to be higher. She's one duplicate away from max, I think, now. What the hell? Why did I get so many ropes? She's a four star. Let's check out my base as well. Here is how it's going. My main problem now is the drones. I think we can upgrade one thing, and I don't know why I have so many power plants. I think you can destroy them, but... Eh, whatever. I'll need them eventually. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we can upgrade something. I'm just trying to get uh, most things to level two. Probably gonna start with a trading post next. Anything over there? Level one? No. Let's go and do the trading post. Oh yeah, when you upgrade something, they automatically... Uh... I don't have anyone for the control center except her, but she doesn't actually do anything unless there are other operators there. Amiya can. She's resting currently, but hey, you're healthy enough. Get you. And now I can put Doberman in there. Since she's in there, she'll survive a little bit longer. And Scavenger does the same thing, it looks like. I don't know if that stacks, but whatever. Trading post. I actually don't need order limit plus one, honestly. They take kind of a while. Ooh, Gummy is nice. Yeah, I was spamming the uh, base material stages. Maybe a little bit too much, as uh, I don't know if we'll even need that many... Oh yeah, I think we will actually. We need tons of those. We need them for pretty much every upgrade. And there's still more new stuff to build on there anyway. Um, 33,000 LMD? Holy crap, dude. No. I'm not even gonna do it till I actually need them. Which I won't till we have drones. Damn, it takes so long. Resource search, it's called. Got up to SK3 here. See, this is Elite 1 level 1, and this was actually pretty easy to do. Um, different map, so whatever. Not even gonna try SK4. Tough Siege, AP-3, Elite 1, level 10. Wasn't very hard either. I think I did this on my first try, as a matter of fact. Not to brag or anything, just saying. Elite 1, level 10 is higher than Elite 1, level 1, and, and that story stage seems completely impossible in comparison. I actually wouldn't really recommend spamming the, uh, the battle record stage very much, because you're just gonna run out of LMD super, super quick. Cargo Escort, that's probably the thing you want to be spamming mostly. Oh, and chips, obviously, when you need them. I think for these stages, we have enough for... Oh no. Well, I'm not sure if I'm gonna raise a sniper soon, but we have enough for two casters, which is the thing I should be actually focusing on. Probably I don't have good casters, or high level casters at least. And then finally, Annihilation. You can pretty much see my progress here already. I got so damn close to the next reward. 372 out of 375 enemies. Thankfully, or actually not thankfully, these are one-time rewards, so it doesn't matter that the weaker set and I wasn't able to do it because 
they'll still be here or they are still here here is a little bit further away the enemies just shot up in difficulty right at around the 330 enemy mark and just completely bulldozed my dudes but the second stage of annihilation didn't seem much harder than the first stage it might just be that my units are more geared towards this layout or the enemies or whatever the first time i did this i actually beat my record on the first stage uh, as far as number of enemies killed so that was pretty funny also the higher you go in the second stage the more orundum you can get per week so really try your best to get as high as you can there uh, so you can get more orundum weekly so updated feelings about the game well um it's kind of taught me that i'm not as good at tower defense games as i thought i was <laughs> i don't feel like you need super high star units to to progress and beat the game like plume here level 36 elite one three star she kills it in a lot of stages, especially Annihilation, of course. Sure, there are probably better DP recovery units. In fact, I think I just got a four star that does the same thing. Um, but I really, really like Plume. She's cheap to deploy, has decent damage, not really a lot, but still decent enough for the beginning enemies, as long as there's not like three coming at once that are on the tankier side. She has very quick attack speed, so, you know, sometimes she can handle three if they're weak. Was it Vigna? Yep, Vigna, 4-star has the same stuff, also fast attack speed, she might just be the 4-star version honestly, in a different skin. Oh, but she gets an attack increase, Plume does too, but not nearly as much, but also 10 attack speed. I mean, yeah, she's probably good for DP too, I'm just in no rush to raise her, since I already have what, what at least I would consider to be good enough. Ixusia has been doing really awesome once I got her up to Elite, so she can, uh, her range got expanded, which was super important to uh, kill, kill off those drones. In most cases, she can take care of the drones by herself, so you don't really need any other snipers. I kind of like her basic skill more, because it's auto only needs a few normal hits to activate very very cheap shooting mode would be good for bursts of enemies though because you can decide when to use it with manual as far as Saria goes I just figured out her birthday is exactly one day after mine so favorite unit already I feel kind of weird for saying that but um yeah she's really cool too I've been switching back and forth between these skills the AoE healing is pretty nice but most of the time I just find myself sticking with this one because a lot of my opening strategy is putting plume in front first and then Saria behind plume just to catch you know any extra enemies so plume herself just kind of needs more healing than everyone else around me silence my most recent elite obtains a medical drone uh, I tried this once, I kind of didn't really like it. I'm sure in the right scenario it can be incredibly useful, I just didn't like it because it's an actual unit you have to deploy and it goes somewhere and it dies after 10 seconds so so you would have to have like a unit space free all the time and then it self-destructs after 10 seconds so you're kind of perpetually one unit short. And then we have Vanilla here, I kind of just raised her because 3 star and got the stuff back. Probably should have raised the, that 3 star mage instead but too late now. Uh, she gets six deployment points on her action skill. Decently quick. Also good for annihilation once things get tougher. And Plume isn't the one killing everyone then. So uh, she can still keep the DP rolling in. Still got a bit of balancing out to do. I am nice and protecty with these guys. Nice strong tank, nice strong healer. Ixusia does solid enough damage, but still. Uh, need a really strong AoE, so might get Meteorite up there, but the, the Arts damage I need, because most of the stages I struggle with are because of those super, super tanky guys, and Arts damage ignores defense, so that'd be useful. But yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, you know, just a little progression update, kind of feelings on it. It's really hard, but really fun too. Just trying to get the right strategy on, on a couple of different stages. A couple of beginner tips I've learned while playing, thrown in there. Could be you knew everything already. In that case, I do apologize. But yeah, that'll do it. Make sure to leave any thoughts you have in the comments down below. Dropping a like if you do enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.